Abuse Prevention Institute. Give her What's going on, Springfield? What's up? My name is Eric Madden, and I am the co-founder and director of Substance Abuse Prevention Institute. And we offer weekend driver intervention programs to first-time OBI offenders at various hotel locations across Ohio. Did you know that the law in Ohio states that any first-time OBI offender has to serve a mandatory three days in jail or attend a weekend driver intervention program? Which one would you choose, right? But also, did you know that weekend OBI offenders, Rob, you click on my slides? There we go. OBI offenders are, is a state problem, right? And last year, the Ohio State Patrol arrested more than 26,000 OBI offenders. And each star on this map represents a death that was caused by an OBI accident. And these are all Ohio State Patrol statistics right here. So why would anybody be passionate about helping OBI offenders? Well, back when I was 18, I got charged with drinking and driving. And back at that time, I had a job, I had a license, and I just got a car. So by my standards, I was winning, right? <laughs> but on a cold December night, I made a very bad decision. I got drunk with my friends, and I decided to get behind the wheel. The only thing I remember from that, from that night was getting in my car, and everything else was a blur. I ended up hitting six parked cars, and I don't even remember doing it. That night changed my life forever. A few days later, I was ordered into Clark County Municipal Court, where the judge suspended my driver's license, char charged me with thousands of dollars in court fines and court fees, and because I had wrecked my car, I ended up losing my job as well. That one night cost me everything. I ended up spending the next four years of my life addicted to drugs with no purpose in my life and not one person in the world that was trying to guide me back down the right path. Only by the grace of God was I able to get clean through a drug and alcohol treatment program here in Springfield at the age of 22, and I've been clean and sober since February 23rd, 2010. <laughs> I'm very, very excited this coming February, I actually have 10 years clean. It's, it's a miracle. It's yeah. God's blessing right there. So early on in my recovery, I learned the value of setting goals. And one of the first goals that I accomplished was getting my license back. And then I earned my GED. And then I worked two part-time jobs while I was going to school to become a counselor. And last year, in 2018, I graduated from Wright State University with my bachelor's degree in social work. I'm very proud of <laughs> Also started a beautiful family and met some cool people along the way too. I've had a very cool ride in my recovery process. But one of the coolest things that I've been able to do in my recovery is to be able to develop this futuristic mentality. And one of the things that that futuristic mentality has had me to do is to be able to realize that if you really want to help somebody who's struggling with substance abuse early on, and if you're able to do that effectively, you can actually prevent addiction in the long term. So I decided to start my own business. So on April 21st, 2018, Substance Abuse Prevention Institute was approved by the state of Ohio to offer driver intervention programs across Ohio. And since that date, we've had 1,098 people complete our driver's intervention program. The average person spends $332 with us. And it's crazy to say that this year to date, we've actually brought in $406,000. And to me, that's crazy because look where I've come from. But to do this is really a dream come true for me. But the cool thing is, is that we're able to do this across the entire state, right? But the problem that we face right now is we've spent more than $112,000 this year on hotel rooms across the state. And we're projecting to spend more than $150,000 next year in 2020. So if we had our own facility or had a better agreement in place where we're able to serve more people more often at a cheaper price here in Springfield, we could actually have our own location. We would be able to offer more services we would be able to offer our state certified remedial driving course more often and help more people get their license back. And I believe that that's what this is all about. So you're probably wondering, well, how did the social worker start this business and grow so quickly? I've spent thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours studying, advertising, marketing, business plans, everything that it takes to run a successful business. And I would say it's, it's working because we've been used by more than 51 municipal courts and 250 OBI offenders, OBI attorneys, 
in just one year while I was still working a full-time job. But what makes us different? Why do people drive to Springfield to attend our driver's intervention program? And it's because of our team, our past, our experiences, our personal, professional, and educational, and together we align to make a team that people drive to Springfield just to attend our program. People love attending our program. They come in on Thursday night and no one's excited to be here, but on Sunday when they leave, they thank us for changing their lives, right? This team right here has been able to help more than 1,000 people to get their life back on the right track. So my question for you is this, how would your life be impacted if you lost your license or you lost your job? Who would help you? We need a team to help us grow this proven business model across the state of Ohio because we want Springfield to be the go-to site for driver's intervention programs, addiction and recovery services. We love Springfield, Ohio, and if we win this competition, every dime and every service that we win would go directly into downtown Springfield and stay here for the next 30 years of my professional career. We love Springfield, and we know that an investment in recovery, an investment in substance abuse, is a win for the entire community. So my question for you is this, who wants to help us take this business model and expand it and grow to be able to help more people to keep drunk drivers off our streets and to keep OVI offenders productive members of society when they make a simple mistake? Thank you. sharing your vulnerability and making that grass that is really, really inspiring. So thank you for, for sharing that. Um, walk me through the, the, the big expense that you mentioned is the hotel rooms. So with your training and education, even if you have your new office space, are you still going to need local overnight lodging options? Or is that something you want to incorporate into your facility? The, the overnight lodging op options is a huge opportunity for us. That's obviously our biggest expense. We have agreements with um, the Buck Creek State Park to use their cabins as a facility to host our programs. The problem is that we need one big meeting space to offer the classes during the day. So if we were able to have a facility, it wouldn't even have to serve as many people. If we could serve them more often, we could also we could help more people reduce the cost, which would increase the number of folks that want to attend our program. Safe to say you're the only business I hope goes out of business, actually, here. <laughs> I agree 120%. Uh, well, good luck in that. Um, I, I think that uh, what you do is inspiring. There's a huge need for it, unfortunately. And I mean, I know a guy with 44 meeting rooms and 12 down the street, so um, maybe want to help you with that, too. But so my question is, what is your biggest need? Like, what does what does the vision look like a year from now? Like, what is your ideal situation when you dream about what your facility looks like, how you operate, where you go? There is nothing holding us back from expanding across the state of Ohio. One option would be to have more locations to offer more services, or to have a big center here in Springfield that folks could come to at a much cheaper rate. We've already had people drive from different states just to attend our program because of the cost, right? So our margins are much cheap, much lower than our competitors, but we're still able to make a profit because we're able to run our programs efficiently. So to be able to answer your question, what I would like to do is have one big location. It wouldn't even have to be big, just a location that's here in Springfield that we owned, operated, or had an agreement with that's not a hotel that can jack up rates on us and change dates and stuff like that. That's been the biggest problem we faced. With like five seconds left, does the $332 per person cover the lodging, the meals, the courses, the training? Covers everything, lodging, hotels, meals, everything they need for the weekend. Let's jump, Eric.